in the cold, unfathomable reaches of time, before modern tales of horror, before the joviality of trick-or-treating, there existed a night of profound dread and reverence. Samain. It was a time when the veil between the world of the living and the realm of the dead grew perilously thin, a time when the boundaries of reality became blurred. The Celts, a people deeply rooted in the rugged landscapes of what would later become Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, were no strangers to the mysteries of nature. The changing seasons were not just shifts in weather to them, but profound transitions of life and death. As the world around them retreated, withering into the embrace of winter, the Celts believed that more than just leaves were falling to the ground. On the eve of Samhain, the very fabric of existence was believed to waver. Shadows cast in the firelight seemed to dance with a life of their own. Whispers, soft and insidious, echoed through the dark forests, and in those whispers were voices from the past. The spirits of ancestors and those who had recently departed were believed to wander the earth on this night. But not all that roamed were benevolent souls. Amongst the murmurs of the wind, there lurked malevolent entities, spirits with unfinished business, and ancient dark deities of forgotten lore. The air grew cold, charged with anticipation and unease. And in the midst of this spectral assembly, the druids, the spiritual leaders of the Celts, played a crucial role. In efforts to commune, placate, and even control these forces, druid priests would gather at the heart of darkened forests. Here, amidst ancient trees that had stood witness to countless such nights, they would light massive bonfires. These fires were not merely sources of warmth in the biting cold, but were powerful beacons, warding off malevolence and guiding friendly spirits. Around these fires, ceremonies took place, ceremonies both mesmerizing and unsettling. Offerings were made to appease the spirits, to ensure a prosperous year ahead, and to protect the living from the unseen threats that lurked in the shadows. Villagers, cloaked in costumes made of animal skins, would join in these rites, their disguises serving as both tribute and protection. Yet, for all their rituals and precautions, tales of harrowing encounters were not uncommon. There were stories of unsuspecting souls being lured into the woods, never to be seen again, of chilling apparitions appearing at doorsteps, and of eerie disembodied voices calling out names in the dead of night. As dawn approached and the first rays of sunlight pierced the horizon, the spectral visitations would wane. The spirits, both benign and vengeful, would retreat, the veil thickening once more. But the impressions they left were indelible, forever imprinted in the annals of Celtic lore. Even today, when we think we know the world around us, the legacy of Samhain serves as a chilling reminder. For once a year, as Halloween approaches, we are beckoned back to that ancient night, to remember, to revere, and to fear the mysteries that lie just beyond our understanding. And in the echoing silence of the night, if you listen very carefully, you might just hear the whispers from the beyond calling out from the origins of Halloween. <laughs>